What's going on, people? Happy Friday right off the bat, man. We are nearing the end of round one. This may be the last round one fight. We got E. Gonzalez, and he's going up against HB Honky Kong. Here we go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Are you listening? Ricky J. Sparks. What is going on, everybody? Hope everybody's doing well. Look at this. The ladies have finally landed. And I'm not talking about Gonzalez and good old HB Honky Kong. Keep on wanting to call him Honky Dong, but, uh, or you know what I mean, or the Honky Tonk Man. <laughs> but anyway, we got the ladies in action here. Joanna Janjacek is going to be on display. So let's see what happens. For all you people that do not know about E. Gonzalez, he's ranked 18th in this tournament. And um, he went, oh, look at this. Oh, nice throw right off the bat. Gonzalez is in red, but he went all the way to the semis in the last tournament. And Honky Kong, we don't really know a lot about him, but um, Gonzalez is an amazing fighter, man. Some people <laughs> say things about Gonzalez, uh, about him quitting when he loses, but when he's on his game, I really feel like there's nobody as dangerous as an E. Gonzalez. When he's on his game, when he's sharp, he could stack up against anybody, man. And rumor has it he's been training with Bartholomew. And if you don't know who Bartholomew is, this guy, go on ranked in PS4. He has 108 wins and a staggering one loss. So he has the greatest training partner in Bartholomew. But let's get into the fight right here. And again, Gonzalez likes to start off at a snail pace and then he likes to pick things up but honky honky kong's doing a nice job at tagging gonzalez a little bit and gonzalez he, again he's content with just letting you do your thing he's kinda like a floyd mayweather in a way where in the first round he he lets you do do your thing and then all of a sudden when you're gassed out a bit he adds a little pressure and look at how He's throwing them just to drain out the stamina of his opponent here. And the output of Gonzalez is very minimal right here, isn't it? He's just looking there, watching, trying to gauge the timing. He kind of has a little bit of the old primetime Anderson Silva action. Remember Anderson in the beginning of his fights back in his prime? He would always wait and just see what his opponent's all about. But hold on, I think Anderson, Anderson's gonna step in here. Well, for me, Ricky, sorry for interrupting, but uh, I think Gonzalez good, but uh, when you get angry, quit no good. He should not go to play. Uh-oh, <laughs> we had a little freeze action. But right now, I have to give it up for Honky Kong for just putting some pressure on Gonzalez here, and, and he's winning this round. And I've um, locked horns with Gonzalez before, man. He, he he likes to give you a little false hope where he kind of gives up that first round. But then he's got that significant stamina advantage in those second and third rounds. So, like I've been saying, he's alright with just chilling out and letting you do your thing. And if you look at that, this is typical Gonzalez. Honky Kong... Is um, oh he's, he kind of rocked him there, but his stamina is low, and Gonzalez has lots of stamina. But Honky takes the first round. But the big question is, man, are you gonna be able to keep up the pace for three rounds, man? I don't know if Honky could do it, and um, I don't really know the stats of Joanna Janjacek, but. Hopefully, she's got a lot of stamina because he's going to need it. He's going to need it because you'll see a different gear that Gonzalez is going to come out in the second round and the third round. He loves to just switch up the pace. It really throws you off. I think he is just so good with TJ Dillashaw. I don't know if you faced him when he fa when he uses Dillashaw. He packs a punch with Dillashaw. He's got the stamina with TJ, and um, he's very dangerous. So let's see. I'm very interested to see if Gonzalez is going to be a little more offensive minded here but um, yeah very interesting start it's interesting but it's something that I would definitely predict for this first round Gonzalez coming out slow and um, he gave Parker a good little run 
Ed Parker, you know, the three-time champ. He gave him a pretty good run in the last tournament, but lost in straight fights, man. I was going to say straight sets. It is kind of like a set, but he lost 2 nothing to Parker. But So Gonzalez is, you know, top-tier fighter. And look at him. Now he's coming at him. Look at this. Look at how Gonzalez works. Oh, but he gets rocked. And no matter what happens in this fight, you got to give it up for Honky, man. This guy's no tomato can. He rocked him again. Fantastic job by Mr. Honky Kong, but his stamina, brothers and sisters out there, his stamina just seems so low. And Gonzalez is really looking to keep the pace high, man. Don't give him any breaks. And Gonzalez does have that suffocating style. Nice hesitation by Gonzalez. Moving his head and then landing a two piece. Starting to cut off the cage and uh oh. <laughs> There's a hole in the boat for Honk Honky. <laughs> I even tempted to call him Hong Kong. Oh, Honky's just. He's already gassing out and we're only halfway through the fight. Oh, nice flowing combo by Gonzalez. And <laughs> Honky's now. Seems like he's walking in quicksand here, doesn't it? <laughs> he's just. Can't seem to get away. Nice, but he lands another high kick. Good job on him with going with the uh, two piece and then the high kick to follow. Looking to steal this fight. And my dog, I don't know if you hear my dog, but he is not a fan of seeing <laughs> Mr. Honky Kong get gassed out. But look at Gonzalez, though. He's kind of put away his offense. Going all full defensive mode here. Just trying to, to get Honky to gas himself out by throwing all those strikes. Oh, good idea with that nice spinning kick. It's unbelievable how that duck, when you duck, it doesn't register. Oh, Gonzalez goes down. And what's going on here? What is going on here? These guys have forgot to make it stand and bang. And this is hilarious because I never watched the fights prior to recording. So I don't know what's going on. And guys, come on. It's smart on both of them for getting up, but... Oh, Gonzalez is hurt. You got to remember that it's stand and bang only. What kind of fight are we doing? And Gonzalez goes down. This could be the upset that I've been waiting on. That people have been telling me about. And Gonzalez surprisingly gets dropped and KO'd in the first fight. And the Honky Kong man. <laughs> I don't know if you're an 80s guy. But uh, I'm, a, I'm an 80s guy man. I used to love watching 80s wrestling. The Honky Tonk man was a wrestler back in the day. He looked like Elvis. And um, he was a bad guy. And what a finish. I don't know where I was going with that thought. But basically, Gonzalez got shake, rattled, and rolled. Let me know if you know that one. That was the finishing move. <laughs> I just gave it away. But anyway, let's get in on this next fight. And what the heck? It's almost like Gonzalez has gone bonkers here. He's decided to go with Oliveira. Like, <laughs> there's some weird things that have happened in this tournament so far. You know, we saw Joe Rogan sighting, and guys just acting crazy in the stand and bang showdowns but uh, this is kind of bizarre that he would roll with an Oliveira pick here and Honky Kong must be feeling pretty good having a Max Holloway pick is a fantastic pick in my opinion in this style of tournament and he just needs to keep his stand up tight I would say keep the combo short don't do anything wild like that and um, man this guy is going to be going on to the next round and again, it'll put another uh, question mark under E. Gonzalez, man. I just think he's just filled with so much talent. But maybe the emotions just get the better of him sometime. And the same thing happens to me, too. You know, you get emotional. I'm sure it get, happens to you as well, where you get emotional playing this game. And you fight. Oh, does he get? He didn't even get rocked there. You kind of fight out of, out of your element just because you're nervous, upset, you know, down on yourself. Or a little too happy. <laughs> but
But minus the pick of Oliveira, you got to really give it up for Gonzalez here using Oliveira. I think he's doing fantastic here in this second fight. I just think it's a shame he picked him, especially if he loses. But good job on Honky. Just staying right in there. Nice. And these guys are in each other's faces. Waiting for one guy to drop. I'm hoping they got the stand and bang <laughs> element of the setup to this. Correct. You know what I mean? If you know, you know what I'm talking about. Hopefully they set it to stand and bang. But again, you look at these stamina comparisons right here. Gonzo's always on the... Hopefully he likes being called that, by the way. But <laughs> Gonzo always seems to be on the right end of these stamina battles. And let me know what you think his strategy is. I think he doesn't whiff on his shots. He's great at blocking and... He doesn't try to go for too much. He lets the fight come to him. Oh, nice. And again, very close round. Let's look at it here. Oh man, you could argue that it was Honky's round. Yeah, man, more significant strikes. But again, you see a different E. Gonzalez in the second and third rounds. So let's see if Gonzo could really get his act together here. I really felt like he was in command in that first fight, minus, you know, a couple of the rocks. But as far as the stamina game, he was really in command and then basically just had a mental lapse. He was taking a lot of shots to the head, too. But here we go. This is where you're going to see Gonzalez pressure. And the thing is, when guys do this, you can't be... Oh, nice! Honky's really good at um, stifling the offense of Gonzalez, but you can't be trying to go tit for tat against them, you know? You gotta pick your shots properly, use your footwork, back away, and then hit him with another shot, and then keep on moving. I don't know about you, but I feel like that works for me. Going for big bombs and big shots, especially when he has a stamina advantage, is not the wisest strategy. Oh, look at that! Not a lot of people know that Max has the cartwheel kick. You know, <laughs> Zab oh, look at this. Nice. Good job on Gonzalez. And um, just for the record, he, he's not using his um, original account. But yeah, Zabit gets a lot of the credit for having a cartwheel kick. But don't forget that Holloway's got it. Who has it? Swanson? Uh-oh. I don't think Tony Ferguson has it. But look at this pressure. This is typical E. Gonzo here. Wow, Honky just doesn't have anything left. And it's a carbon copy of the stamina game here in the second fight that Honky's just gasping for air and Gonzalez is just working up a nice little lather. Let's see if Gonzalez can finish here, if he can close out properly. <laughs> and the Honky's going for the home run hit. <laughs> Don't worry, brother. I do the same thing. I do the same thing. It rarely ever works, though, but sometimes you'll steal a victory. Nice. And look at look at Gonzalez just push forward. Nice sidestep, though. Those sidesteps, you know, I'll, I'll be honest. I haven't really mastered them, but seeing guys do them, it's really cool to see. And Romero, Big Daddy Romero does a great job doing that. Wow. At this point though, we may be seeing a third fight. And I just love seeing that sudden death third fight. Look at that stamina. It's just so, so low. <laughs> He's trying. He is trying, but those cartwheel kicks just don't have any steam on them look at that wow this fight's got one more shot oh it's over it is over and we ladies and gentlemen boys and girls and pets at home <laughs> we're going to a third fight oh my goodness and I, I still think even though honky dropped that second fight I still think it's just it's up in the air man it's anyone's fight so here we go.
Wonder Boy versus Diaz, man. Let's see what happens. And uh, I like Gonzalez. That Gonzalez, he does have some decent sportsmanship, but in the fight, he's not showing any sportsmanship, man. He he's not <laughs> doing any of that. And look at this. It looks like Gonzo had to go take a leak here, or he had to answer the uh, the doorbell. Why is he away, man? This is a huge fight. Or is he playing possum? Is he playing? Po oh, here we go. He's back. But maybe he was playing a little possum, waiting for Honky to get close, and then he was gonna hit him with a big shot. But look at this. Look at how Honky's coming out, pressuring Gonzalez. He's trying to out Gonzalez, Gonzalez. And let's see if, in my opinion, I think Honkies just needs to maintain that stamina. I think he has an excellent pick here in Nick. Nick's got great stamina. And then he does have a perk when it gets to those later rounds where he gets a big stamina boost. So I'm pretty sure that's going to help him in this fight. Nice. Very sharp strikes by Gonzalez. Wow. I'm so nervous for both of these guys because you, you, it's a shame that one of these guys are going to be going home after this fight. And if Gonzalez loses here, man, how devastating would that be after making it all the way to the final four facing the um, very established Ed Parker, the decorated Eddie Parker. And then he's going to be ousted in the first round. Uh-oh. And right here, Honky's... Off to a really good start, but again, that stamina, man. You just got to dial it back a couple of notches. Keep that stamina up. It's going to be a marathon here. And, you know, like to take out both of these guys, it's going to take a lot. You know, I, I can't see it ending in the first round. Both of these guys have really good defense and great offense. So, <laughs> so you got to... My opinion, when it gets to a five round fight, your strategy must change. Nice! He keeps on catching him with that high kick. Beautiful job. Great timing by Honky, man. Fantastic timing. And I think in all three fights that we've seen so far, Gonzalez has dropped the first round. Oh, he can't be whiffing at air, though. I really feel like the downfall for Honky, or I don't know, I don't want to call it a hole in his game, but that one thing is just whiffing. But he did get that round, man. He did definitely get that round. But I, I really would like to see him just dial it back in the second round, keep that stamina high, and don't try to go, you know. <laughs> Don't try to go for the finish here. But great job. Great, great job. And and you guys know it, man. This is like it's like we're seeing the same fight over and over again. Gonzalez is gonna come out with some heat on his shots, with some aggression. Maybe I could be wrong. Nice head movement though by Honky. This is it, man. This is sudden death. Who's going to rise to the occasion? And who's going to stop playing <laughs> EA Sports UFC 3 for a while? That happened to me too. Have you ever gotten like that where you you lose in devastating fashion? You're like, you know what? I need to take a break from the game for a couple days. But um, it's all good, man. It's all good. No need to get too down. Let's see who's going to rise up here. Again, the whiffing action by Honky. There he goes. Nice. Oh, I love how he did that. But Gonzalez saw it at the last moment. Very tricky kicks by Honky Kong. I would like to see him, though, set up some body kicks and then sneak up top. But he has that sneaky kick to the head. Really down packed, doesn't he? But Gonzalez knows that this is. <laughs> I know you hear this line. I steal all the UFC lines. It's a marathon, not a sprint. And he knows it's a marathon here in five rounds. 
Still, he still has three more rounds to work, and um, he, he's in no rush, man. Nice. It's not like the old YouTube days. You guys remember the old YouTube days when um, you could only make videos that were ten minutes long, and then people that were starting out would always do like part one of two or part one of three of a video because they'd only allow you to make ten minute videos until you got some more subscribers and and that. Then you were allowed to make longer videos. Let me know if you remember that. Nice head movement by Gonzo. Nice. Oh, beautiful job. He rocked him. And it's so hard when um, there's no crowd noise or commentating. I think the perfect setup for a broadcast is have crowd noise, the sound, but no commentating. That is perfect. But in this situation, you just hear the, um, the sound effects. And it's hard sometimes to uh, pick up those rocks. And I always have one um, one ear in and one ear out with my head headset on just so I could hear things that are happening around the house but wow what a job by Gonzalez Gonzalez again in this second round man it's just pulling away and doing some great damage oh my gosh oh it's just honky is in trouble here oh my goodness He's trying to, but again, there's not a lot of gas in the tank for him. And his shots just don't have the, the zip that they had in the first couple of rounds. Oh, man. If this is a real MMA fight, the fight would have been done. Oh, screech time. Saved by the bell. Definitely saved by the bell, but... Wow. E. Gonzalez is in fine form right here. Respect. And I just, I'll be honest, I just, I don't know what Honky can do at this point. I would start loading up on one shot. There he has it. Start loading up on one shot, one uppercut. And he's rocked again. And Gonzalez is looking to win this in devastating fashion. But just load up on one shot. Load up on that uppercut. Use some head movement. Notice that Gonzalez is throwing a lot of straight shots. Throwing some hooks as well. But when he's far away, move your head. But his head health... Oh my gosh, he keeps on getting up, going down, getting up again. Oh boy. Oh, how did that shot not register? And he's rocked again. Oh, this fight, people, looks like it's just a matter of time. Oh, a smelly boot. A punt to the face. And Gonzalez wakes up after dropping that first fight and is now moving on to the second round. Holy smokes, what a fight. Let me know your thoughts on this fight. What a job by Honky, but what a fantastic job by Gonzalez of utilizing his signature strategy of being so defensive in the beginning and then amping things up as the fight goes on. Anyhow, guys, have a great day. Have a great weekend. I'll catch you in the next one. This is Ricky J. Baby from Ricky J. Sports, and as always, brother, you are awesome. Are you intoxicated or something?